welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go and towing the slab in this one, Nathan Evaldi. It's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, calm fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. Okay, all set to go. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Stuart Fairchild. The pitch. Now that finds a corner. And we're underway in Arlington. The 0 1. This one smoked out to left. Makes the catch and there's one go. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Spencer Steer. Well, Boog, I'm sure he hated to see the calendar turn. Hit over 400 last month, and that's the kind of momentum that you just want to continue into the next month. He's one of the hottest hitters in the game right now, and I can't wait to watch him swing it. Now, Spencer Steer. Foul ball. Ivaldi. He has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. That one finds the corner. No balls, two strikes. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, Confidence grows with the players and teammates dives, but it falls and now it looks like extra bases Around second now as they still don't have it and he'll make it into third with a triple How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser like focus slow everything down Stay right in that moment pitch to pitch execution and focusing on that catcher's mitt Runner at third with one gone. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. And a curve drops in for a strike. And the 0-1. And that one upstairs. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. That one that's missed. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. Swing and a ball lifted left field under it. Nabs it. Runner tagging from third. The throws offline. He's safe. And it's 1 0. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough. And that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Now batting Jamer Candelario. And that's, no, that's off it. the inside edge. And it's 1 0. Two outs, bases empty. Yeah. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. One and one. Right. And that's in for a strike. One and two. And a ball and two strikes. Stays alive. Swinging. 
One run, one hit, no errors, no one left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Reds one, and the Rangers coming to bat. Back in Arlington, and on the hill in this one, Hunter Green. What do you look for here? Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the Lead same up, tunnel. All three Rangers. very deceptive, and the hitters are going to have to stay back and make Mark sure they get pitch recognition. Bottom of the first. Yeah. Here is Marcus Simeon. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Espinal makes the grab. And there's one away. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll no, see if up. everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. One down, base is empty. That's a ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And he pumps in a strike. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. Two and two. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. One out, base is empty. Bounce to third. Not in time. Hey. He's safe. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout is a perfect cool. slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. Next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Pulls that one foul. That pitch nope. just oh. misses the inside corner, and the count one and one, two. two. Swings hey. through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Boog gets talked about that a lot, high. but a good high right fastball right in a two-strike situation, that. it's just become oh. such a problem hey, for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing yeah. in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Next one pitch ball, way strike. upstairs. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitches in the dirt. It's two and two. Just misses with that one. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Three, two now. 
So now two That's on and two outs. Nah, what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this that inning alive good. and gives this offense a good it. chance to cut into yep, their deficit. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. That he pitch got. in for a strike. 0-1. 0-1. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. at Globe Life Field. Now it's going to be Christian Encarnacion Strand. Encarnacion Strand. Encarnacion Strand handling the duties at first. 24 years old and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2021. And a foul ball. You won. That one That's drifts inside. inside. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, Boog, they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, we can develop a relationship with them. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's oh. great the shortstop takes the ball yeah. comes up empty that's strike two one ball two strikes next oh, offering upstairs up. Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Righty delivers. And another oh ball. Three, two. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! A gigantic blast. It's 2-0. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Next for Cincinnati, Santiago Espinal. at the knees and that's strike one one down base is empty and it's Ball. even up one one
And downstairs. Not close one. with that one. And that's ball three. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the second. And that one in the air, center field. Tavares calls it in, and there's two away. Batting it. The left number And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Nick Martini. That Peacock. one's in there. 0 one, 1. No ball. One strike. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Near the fence. Kisner makes the catch. And that'll do it. The Reds rolling after this solo shot. And it's 2 zip. Back after this on the show. Bottom half of inning number two, down the third baseman, the third baseman. Josh Smith. Smith. Green, back to work. There's a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Here's the 0-2. Drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So next to hit for Texas, Wyatt Lankford. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. 0 oh and 1. The Rangers down by a pair. Bottom half of inning number two. Just Ball, off the outside. outside edge. And the count even 1 and 1. And two another and ball. Next nope. pitch is Ball. outside. Up the middle. Tosses the first. Oh, yeah. That's one out the bottom of the second. That's a good piece of hitting right, right there. It's early, okay, okay. but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. A pitch. You got a full count. Two Swings runs. and misses. Gassed it right by him. Batting him up. Here's Leone Tavares. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. No and one. Oh. 
two outs. That Ooh. catches the outside corner. And it's 0 2. Ball one there. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Just uh -huh. off the inside edge. Really good take, especially with two, two strikes. Two. On the ground at first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Rangers leave one. They trail things here, 2-0. New inning getting started, and stepping in is the speedy Bubba Thompson. Thompson. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. And there's a foul ball. They tried One, to get two. him to chase on a slider down and away. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. He goes down looking. You know, splitters aren't thrown by a ton of pitchers, and one of the main reasons is that they're difficult to control. And not many guys can spot them consistently where they want to, but he's one of those exceptions. He's found a way to corral a split, and he can place it on a dime just like he did right there. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. One down, base is empty. Foul ball there. The pitch. That ball. just misses, and it's one and two. And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Fires to first on the run. On target. He got him. Nice play. Just an outstanding play going up the middle right there. And the exchange to get the throw off the first just shows you why he's one of the best shortstops around. So smooth yet so quick at the same time. And any slower and those wheels burning down the first baseline are going to turn that into an infield hit. The batter down, Spencer Steer. Swung on, belted. A dive, and he can't haul it in. And into second easily with a two-out double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. What a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. That Get one the off the mark, ball one. Man on second, two down. There's a strike. And that's oh. in the dirt. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going.
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Spoils that one, and it remains 2-2. Two and two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And it's second. Still two and two after the foul ball. Into center. Tavares pulls it in on the run. Reds leave one, but they hold the two nothing lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the Rangers the leadoff Rangers. hitter, Marcus Simeon. Simeon. Green back to work. Just missed. Next no, offering low. is low. down low. And a pitch. Base hit center field. So, runner aboard to start the inning. Well, when you fall behind in the count, now you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So now it's Corey Seager. Reached on an infield single his first time. That one oh. missed. Well, oh, here's a good opportunity in one this out. inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The Reds leading by two here in the last half of the third. And that one wrapped foul. Next Ball offering high. upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Now all leave it up. Good job to fight that one off. Nobody out. Runner at first. And Down another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Now move to first. Hey. Simeon back easily. Three, two on the way. And down Three. on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him. Simeon runs. Swing and a miss. And safe. It's a stolen base. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And the righty deals. Got him looking for the K. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the 
the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and Garcia is out. And that is the inning. One left for Texas. They're still down. It's 2 zip. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Jamer Candelario. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Fouled off left side. Well, these Reds showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And here it comes. Inside almost got him. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Set down on strikes. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. And here's the first baseman, oh, Christian Encarnacion Strand. 0 for 1 so far. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And that one sliced foul. Pitch is in there, and that's strike two. And yeah, that's, that's outside. Outside. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Low calls it in, two away. Now that Ellie De La Cruz. Two outs, base is empty. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. He's already homered in this game. The shortstop takes the ball. And now no, two and nothing. That's the ball. And that no, one is Batman. inside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like Three this no. all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And a pitch. There's Good. a strike. Edge in the zone for a strike, and it's three and two. Down the line. Turns to the right on the move. He's got it. And that is out number three. Bottom four. Lead and off. here Lead is Rangers. Nathaniel Lowe. The first base. Nathaniel. The right hander back to work. Now this is in the air down the line. Bounces over the wall in foul ground. It's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, boo. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Josh Smith, the next to hit. 
Inside nope. oh. just missed. Well, these Rangers, as out. this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have Rita. to. A bit behind with that swing. One it's one. strike one. Right Rita. down the chute. And it's one and two. What a kill. I love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, the catcher's missed, mind, and the even ball. the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Man, it's second. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. pitch spoils that one and it remains two and two good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat got it by him for the K with that kind of velocity and elevated fastball even if it's still in the strike zone can be tough for hitters to get on top of Wyatt Lankford stepping in for the Rangers. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And that one missing low. One out and a runner at second. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That's Off the, the plate inside. inside. Now two balls and a strike. At the belt and fires. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Right the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch-outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success. Yeah. Trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Here's Andrew Kisner. Went down on strikes his first time through. That one finds the zone. And that is strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. The 0 1. No, that's down. Ball. And a good that's eye there. The Rangers trailing by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. The other way. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Reds two and the Rangers nothing. And we're back. Top five, John Chavi with Chris Singleton. And leading Santiago. it off, Santiago Espinal. The pitch. Espinal measures 5 feet 10 inches, 29 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. Well, these Reds, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat, and that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Number 23, Nick. Nick Martini, the next to hit for the Reds. He's 0 for 1.
That's the ball. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one fouled off. Ball to strike. That's the third. Over to low. Oh. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Now batter. The center field. Bubba. Here's Bubba Thompson. Bubba. Struck out looking at his first at bat. On the ground, Simeon on the run, sends it over to first, and the Reds go one, two, three. Nobody left for Cincinnati, but they're on top two nothing. Back in Arlington, now here is Leody Tavares. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on that right. one's in there strike one activity in the bullpen for the reds brent Suter loosening up for manager david bell martinez a right-hander loosening up as well righty to the plate now a high fly ball out to left center he's got it one down Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, Marcus Simeon. And that's in there for strike one. In there at the knees for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spin on anything that's down. Really nice sequence with a quick strikeout right there. A couple of breaking balls to get ahead, 0-2. Then pump the hard stuff by him for strike three. And I like that he didn't mess around. Sometimes guys, they like to get too cute. They waste a pitch here or there and then find themselves back into a hitter's count. But right there, he had him right where he wanted him and pitched him aggressively to get the strikeout. Seager right. in the box now. No balls and a strike. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. The Reds up by two. Last half of inning number five. Going to count one, one and two. two. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And they're down two nothing. Top six, and now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Stuart Fairchild. Fairchild. Ivaldi, back to work. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And he deals. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. This to center field. Tavares settles under it. Makes the catch. One up, one down. The bat, bat number seven. seven. Designated hitter. hitter. Next Spencer is the designated hitter, Steer. Spencer Steer. To third, Smith. To first, you know. yeah, they get the out. Now bad catch it, Tyler Stevenson. Two outs, space is empty. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. 
This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at-bats more difficult than oh. they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. And that one fouled off. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And that is that. Well, we go bottom six. And now the DH, Evan Carter. Carter. The line to kick the pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Four, get it. Way back there and gone. A massive home run. His second homer of this series, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. That gives this offense something to celebrate for the first time in this one. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the batsman carried it out of here. Now the Reds manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Hunter Green gives way, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. Pitching change here, Brent Suter. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Adolis Garcia now at the plate. And he grounds one back up the middle. Nice grab. On the money. Nice play. What an acrobatic play right there. Knocks it down. Throws from the seat of his pants. And just looks like he's playing in the backyard. He makes it look really easy. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. One for two. Hey, right through there for a strike. The lefty fires. Hard hit left side. Sends it across the first. And yeah, there's two away. The third base is number eight. Josh, Josh Smith will hit Smith. next. That hits wow. the dirt, and yeah, that's ball one. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Buck Farmer appears to be getting loose. Two down, nobody on. Chop to third. Candelario on the first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of inning number seven. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Jamer Candelario. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the right-hander deals. Little chopper rolls foul. Oh, 
and two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And that, that just misses. One ball, two strikes. field that's going back back some more and that one hops the wall safe at second with a leadoff double well that's how you respond leadoff no, no, man no. comes up no, gets no, in the no. scoring position now there are several ways that they can get this run across Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That'll be it for Nathan Evaldi, and they trail as he exits, but he kept them close. A new arm will be on the mound after the break. So, out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Kirby Yates. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Christian Encarnacion Strand getting ready to hit. Ball That's one on a pitch inside. And he grounds one to the right side. Slings to first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Now that Ellie De La Cruz. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Don't be surprised to ball. ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Run around at third, one gone. Wouldn't chase nope. that ball. time. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Michael Lorenzo up and loosening in the pen. Haney also getting ready. Kicks and deals. Yeah. And he takes a strike. And That's the slider the just misses. Santiago Espino on deck for Cincinnati. And ball four to a board. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Santiago Espinal digs in now. side corner for a strike in this situation the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground get two for one you gotta look for something up in the zone at worst case scenario you deliver the sacrifice fly and fouled off two on one out and one only two, two. Fights it off, you'll see another.
Right hander kicks deals. Two, and two. the ball evens the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put them away. And now two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Runners at the corners, one away. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Here's the left fielder, Nick Martini. That's Ball. off the That's mark. Down. One and oh. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Just missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Misses with that one. Bubba Thompson to bat next. Runners on first and third. Two away. In the air, center field. Tavares settles under it. He's got it. And that's the third out. Red strand a couple. They lead it 2-1. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Nick Martinez. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Well, one run go. game at Rangers. the play. Wyatt Langford. And the pitch. And yeah, that's ball. outside. Ah. Ball one. And ball. another ball. Two and out. Looking to get the tying run on base. That ball. one inside. Ball three. So three definitely out. a little wild right out of the gate. Both to be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And a four pitch walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't Here's even much to pick up. No outs. Runner at first. Andrew, Andrew Kisner stepping in for the Rangers. Squares the bunt, but that rolls foul. Holding on to a one run lead here at the bottom of the seven. And he bunts, but that's foul. Strike two. Right-handed reliever. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. That one oh. inside. Now one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Fouls it off, still one and two. Runner at first with no outs here. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Righty delivers. 
On the ground, could be two. Feed to second, that's one. On the first, double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. And a strike in there. Late swing, foul to the left. Two outs. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond, and that is that. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Michael Lorenzen. This is his third time out this year. And now it's going to be Bubba Thompson. The center fielder, Bubba Thompson. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Lorenzen, a 6'3 righty, 215 pounds. He joined the team as a free one agent. One. Very high with that one. And the count is one and one. The pitch. Ground ball right side. And that one handled. Fires over to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now the right fielder. And now the right fielder, Stuart Fairchild. Down the middle for a strike. It's Owen White. Owen Activity in the bullpen. Owen White appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. Kicks and fires. And he hits a ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. The bat, the bat. number seven. Designated hitter. Spencer. Now the number Steer. two hitter. Spencer Steer. Ball one low. One ball, no strike. And oh. this is inside. There's yeah. a strike. Two and one now. Just no, missed. Not. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the eighth. And he walked That's him. ball four. Take your base. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very yeah, aggressive secondary yeah, lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Yeah. Oh, Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. 0-1 now. Uh-uh, ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And that one fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. 
Next That's offering misses, and it's two and two. Two and two. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Just no, off the outside ball. edge, Jamer Candelario hitting on deck circle. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Right yeah. through there. Got him. That's the third out. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Reds two and the Rangers one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Justin Wilson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now it's Marcus Simeon. For the Rangers, the second base. Marcus Simeon. And here comes. Right through there for a strike. Moving in the bullpen, Alexis Diaz. The closer of the staff is throwing. And he'll one. And there's That's a ball. ball. Good slider down and in can be so strike. hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. And that Good one luck. almost got him. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Stays alive. Here's a 2 2. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Here's the 2 2. Yeah. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One out. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth <laughs> inning. Down one. Any leadoff base Holy runner really makes this inning a bit more Deeper. interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Now it's Corey Seager. And that's, no, that's off inside. the inside edge. And that is ball one. Trying to hold a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next yeah, offering is in for a strike. That's down and in. No, the shift on hits right into it in plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. Oh, well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. The nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So now here's the DH, Evan Carter. He's already homered here in this one. Yeah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Takes low for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Pitch misses there. Two and one. Right through there for a strike. Is lifted in the air, gets under it, hauls it in to end the inning.
And we're back. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Jamer Candelario. Jamer Candelario. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. And that's oh. down it away. Next oh. pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two. And he deals. Candelario tries to check his swing. Now will look to third. And he held back according to Rusty Valentine. Outside and that is ball four. Well he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Man at first. Christian Encarnacion Strand. The next to hit for the Reds. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And the righty deals. Close nope, one, ball. doesn't get the call. A ball one one strike. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next right. offering is in for a strike. Good looking fastball right there. Surprised he didn't take a rip at that. I think he got locked up a little bit. The pitch. The punch out there. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Dylan Cruz, the next to hit, takes ball one. Fastball in for a strike and a count one and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Tavares grabs it on the run. Santiago, Santiago Espinal, the next to hit for the Reds. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Up and that's in, ball. and that's ball one. And a strike on the outside edge. Two outs. A little that's bit low. It. That's the ball. Two balls, two strikes. And Full another count. ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. That to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. Around third. Now a relay to the plate. Head for a slide, and he's safe. Well, that worked out as good as it could have. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3-2 pitch, and he cashed in by finding a hole in the outfield. You know, that takes a little extra concentration in the box because of the movement on the base pass. Easy to get distracted, so that was a really nice job there. Now the left fielder, Nick Martini. And first offering is fouled off. comes a pitch and now the oh. count is even one run across in the frame so far here at the top of the ninth. out to short throws the first and that is that but they pick up one run on the RBI single it's now a 3-1 ball game you're dialed into the show
We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Alexis Diaz. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. The next offering misses. Ball two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Swing and a miss. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Low in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. One down, base is empty. In the air, out towards left center. Martini pulls it down. Two down. Now batting the third baseman. Third baseman. Josh. Stepping in, Josh Smith. One for three. That misses the up. zone, and that's ball one. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Hey. Swings and misses. And the count is one and two. One and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. This could end it. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And he makes the catch. Ball game, and the Reds claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Green with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case, as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.